Hey, I'm Action Jacqueline, and this is your cardio and abs interval workout. It's going to really activate your core, get you nice and strong, and rev up your heart rate. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can keep creating amazing workouts like this for you. Okay, let's get into the workout. We're gonna get right into it, start standing. Our first move is gonna be kind of like a semi warm up. So let me go ahead and start the clock for us. And each interval is gonna be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We're gonna pull the knees up towards our chest, just like this. Now I want you to think about engaging your core. We're gonna reach the arms up and you're gonna pull the elbows down and down. So full body warm up here. So elbows come towards my knees. And make sure that you're not kinda of like going back and forth like this, okay? Keep those ribs nice and quiet. Pull the lower belly in and start to use the core to pull the legs up, okay? So I want you to initiate the movement from your lower core. Good, so a nice warm up. We're gonna be alternating between cardio and abs, cardio and abs. It's gonna feel really good. Next move, we're gonna go on our back in just a few seconds. Whew. Feel that body getting nice and warm. All right, so we're gonna come onto our back and our legs are gonna come all the way up to 90 degrees here. And then we're just gonna lower lift the top, the bottom leg here, legs are crossed. Lower, lift, little switch. Lower, lift, little switch. All right, keep going if you haven't yet started. Good. Little switch, down, up, little switch. So I'm alternating legs, that's what I mean by a little switch. Down, up, switch. Down, up, switch. Great job. So relax the shoulders. Breathing, inhaling in and out through the nose. Palms are flat down on the ground. Good job. All right, we're gonna come up in just a second for our next cardio move. Whew. Feeling those abs starting to fire up for sure. All right, come on up and we're gonna do a nice little jump squat here. So you're gonna jump, land, punch, punch. Getting those abs involved in every single punch. All right, we're going in three, two, one. Let's go, a little jump, stay low, twist, twist. Jump, twist, twist. Get into your own little rhythm here. Jump, twist, twist. Jump, twist, twist. Great. Up, twist, twist. You can always make this low impact by just standing and just taking out the jump. All right, definitely modify it for your body. Twist, twist, up, twist, twist. Whew. Stay low in those punches. Five, four, three, two, and one, great, come down to the floor. We're gonna come onto our backs and we're gonna keep the legs at a 45 degree angle. And then you're going to twist towards the knee, extend both the legs, twist and extend. All right, so join me when you're ready. Twist and together. So that together motion there is really important. Squeeze the lower belly down and towards your back. Point the toes, good, keep going. All right, come on up. We're gonna do something called side ape jump. So you're gonna place your hands down. I always have to kind of figure it out. Place the hands down. Come on up, and then nice big jump right there in the middle. Other side, and come up. All right, let's go. Hands to the floor, and jump. Hands to the floor, jump. Have fun with it, be playful. Doesn't have to look a certain way. Whew. Get that heart rate up. Let it rise. Let yourself get a little bit uncomfortable. Take up the speed if you can.
All right. Here we go. We're gonna come back onto our backs and we're cardio to abs, cardio to abs. We're gonna come on our backs and we're gonna put the legs all the way up and we're gonna slowly lift the chest up, pump the arms as the legs lower and lift. Join me now if you haven't yet. Squeeze the ankles together and I'm slowly lowering down as I slowly lower up. Beautiful, nice long line from your hips to your toes. Get those shoulder blades off of the ground if you can. Whew. It's great to have the heart rate up while we work on our strength in between the cardio moves for a little extra fat burning, metabolism boosting. Keep going. Stand on up, we're gonna do a nice big squat and you're gonna pull the knee all the way up towards the shoulder, down and up. So this is kind of like a cardio move with the abs. So if you notice, my obliques are definitely working a lot here. So I want you to get the knee up as high as you can. Drive it up, try to touch your shoulder with your knee and then get as low as you can. Big movements here. Get really low, really high. Really low, really high. Good, and then if you take up the speed, you're gonna take up the intensity. So see what you've got. This is where you get it. Get it, just see what you can do. And most likely, you're gonna surprise yourself. Keep going. Awesome job. Lower down. We're gonna go into a side plank here. So you're gonna place the elbow down, reach up, thread it through, reach, and then switch to the other side. Lift, thread, let's go, and switch. So the challenge here is to never put anything down besides your elbow and your feet, okay? You can split the stance if you need to to make it a little bit more balanced for you. You can even put the knees down and practice here like this in a modified side plank. And you can still roll right over, okay? Keep it going, you're doing awesome. All right, little breather here. We're gonna do jumping jacks in plank. So yes, we are gonna get that heart rate way up here for our last few exercises. Remember, you can always repeat this entire series twice, even three times through. All right, here we go. Out, in, out, in. Nice, let that heart rate come up. Whew. Beautiful. Think about your form. So press through your fingers, press through all of your knuckles especially your first finger and your thumb. That's gonna help to activate your forearms. Yes, your forearms. Most of the time, those are not turned on, but they should be. Keep going. Good, keep turning biceps forward, triceps back, screwing the hands into the ground. Keep going and rest, good. Last move here. We made it. Okay, elbows are down. We're gonna go up into a dolphin pose here. And you're gonna simply walk it all the way out. Even give a little tap down and then walk it back up. Good. If the tap feels too much on your low back, just skip that part. All right, I'm just gonna do a little baby cobra there. Come back up. Now my forearms are parallel to one another, like railroad tracks. So make sure you're doing that as well to keep the shoulders in a safe position. And even here, press through the fingers, press through the first finger and thumb. Keep going. Amazing work today.